Good afternoon. We are welcome to NBIS exhibition. Myself Shubhashree. Myself Hashita. Today we are here, today we are taking you back to the hundred and thousands years back. We are here in the theater of NBIS to give the information about the origin of the artificial light and the history of the communication. Now, my friend Harshita is here to give the information of about the origin of the artificial light. Let's welcome her. Artificial light. At present, we are using LED lights, fluorescent light, and everything. But what about our ancestors? How did they live their life without light? Let Let me give you a small information about it. Firstly, at the daytime there was no problem. There was a sunlight. But what about night time? They were they firstly they were using Firstly, they were using kerosene lamp, candles, etc. Later, Thomas Alva Edison in 1868 he introduced he introduced light and was it was invested in uh, it was signed si signed out in 1968. Let me see this video.
This was a great age of time. A modern fluorescent lamp is based on a type of discharge tube. The light is produced, so to speak, at second hand by the action of rays from the discharge on a powder with which the inside of the tube is coated. We don't realize how much of our life depends upon artificial light. We've come to take it for granted that we can work or amuse ourselves after dark just as easily as we can in the day. And have forgotten that this is something comparatively new in the history of mankind. Find shelter and security from the dark.
I hope you are all enjoy the topic of the communication. Thank you.